I don't feel any better. I mean, shit, why would I? I just found out I killed my ex-wife. Of course, while any man with an ex-wife would envy me, I still find myself just as confused as I was before. You just revisited a very disturbing moment in your life, one that caused you to have a break with reality. A little hesitation, confusion, just to be expected. I see it, you know. It's a perfect memory now. But I'm still that little boy holding on to his mother. Hmm. Something very similar happened to you as a child. You said yourself you were eight years old when your mother died. How old were you at the revelation? About that age. But I really did believe my mother died of cancer. Your father continued to raise you after your mother's death. There's no record of the death itself. So it's probable that your father killed your mother in very much the same manner you killed Claire. I still find it very hard to believe. I see myself clear as day holding the knife in my dream. But? But I'm also holding Claire, looking at myself with the knife. A disassociation. You step outside of yourself and watch yourself during the repulsive act. Uh, very much like people create figments of their imagination. People who don't really exist in reality, but yet they interact with them like any other human being. So where do we go from here? Forward. What do you think? I think you shouldn't touch anything until he gets here. Fuck him. When are you gonna let it go? He let the banana thing go. It's been over a year, man. He's not only a detective now, he's got a hell of a record. He's closed some pretty tough cases. He's so damn good, why can't he solve this one? Sears are tough, you know that. Eight bodies in the last year? Bananas left in every scene? And there's a key in every banana. But this guy's not even closer to finding the fucker than the first day he started on the case. Give me time. Anything new? Same old, same old. Banana? Bagged and tagged. What does it mean, Sanders? Keys and the bananas? Have you figured it out? No, Andrews. Have you? <sighs> Give me everything you got. Photos, footprint statements. I want to see the key as soon as it's processed. So, hey, I was wondering if you might have time for a theory. About this? Yeah. Why don't you run it by Andrews first? You know Andrews. <laughs> yeah, I know Andrews. What is it? All of our victims are skinned, upper torso, right? Yeah. Banana left at the scene? Yeah. Our guy's got a thing for bananas. Just because it's his calling card? It's what he does to our Vicks, too. What do you mean? Skin ripped off, upper torso? Sometimes left hanging? He's peeling the sorry bastards. Like a banana. Hmm. Good catch. Just hope the press doesn't catch wind of this. Last thing I need on my resume is that I help catch the banana killer. <laughs> Problem? Can't think of anything to say. That's all right. You had a rough night anyway. Uh, that's an understatement. You want to talk about it? Nope. Just want to drink about it. Oh boy. This is fucking empty. Probably an empty fucking bottle. Let's well, talk your fridge next time, goddammit. Damn it. Asshole. Got a little bit left. Oh, oh yeah. Shit sure wasn't yeah. empty. Now uh, it's it. I know. Maybe I'm just confused. Or maybe not really, I don't know. I'm just lonely, you know. 
those prostitutes and bar whores. You know, they're great ladies and everything, but there's just really nothing, nothing emotionally there. Yeah, I really know what you mean. Hey, how come you never had a girlfriend? Never had time. <laughs> or the money. Yeah. Fuck it, it's true. Oh, you scared me. Did you get my text? Yeah, I got it. You weren't waiting up, were you? Wanted to talk. About? Us. What's wrong? I never get to see you anymore. I wanted tonight to be special. It's been a long time to preparing for it. And... I'm sorry. It's just this crazy caseload at work and I got busy and... You forgot, didn't you? Forgot what? I'm sorry. I really am. I did forget. It's a pretty big thing to forget. I know. But I can only say I'm sorry so many times. It's crazy. I've got this caseload at work. I just need more time. Please just be patient. I can feel partner right around the corner. Look, I know how important partnership is for you. And I've been there to support you and, and help you every step of the way. Yes, you have. Well, then give me tonight. What do you mean? Give me tonight. Put down the legal pads and the law books for one night and come upstairs and make love to me. Brad. I'm sorry. I'm tired. It's been a hard day. Tomorrow? I promise. Are you having an affair? What? It's a simple question. Let's get the facts, Claire. Can't blame me for asking. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, you bust your ass to make detective. And now I'm busting mine to make partner. So that we can have a better life. And this is what I get? Am I having an affair? Are you? Fuck you. I'd love to. It's been such a fucking long time. I'll take anything right now. Any kind of fucking sign that shows that you love me. I can't do this right now. I can't do this! And when? When could we do this? When can we do anything? A dinner. A night fucking out. I mean, all I'm asking for is one night together. You know what? You need to get your shit together and I need to calm down. I'll be in the study tonight. Hi, Sergio. Ah, oh, how did you know it was me? Oh, I don't know. So what is it tonight? I'm breaking out of here. This time for good. So why tonight? Well, you don't need me anymore. I never needed you, Sergio. You keep telling yourself that. Someday I'll believe it. Or not. Either way, it doesn't matter. The fact is, you don't need me anymore, but someone else out there does. So I'm going to help them now. How did you ever help me? Aside from keeping you from going insane? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, great job on that one. I want to give you something. 
It's not a hot dog, is it? Hot dog? No! Why would I want to give you a hot dog? The idea of you wanting me to give you a hot dog is disturbing. After all, why Freud says sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. He did say sometimes. Which means that sometimes a hot dog isn't just a hot dog. Or a banana. Or a banana? What does a banana have to do with anything? Never mind. Well, this is it then. So long. Farewell. I'll probably be back though. As soon as you need me, which will probably be soon, seeing as how things are turning out. I'll call, I'll write, or maybe even email you if I can find an affordable ISP. Hi, Sergio. Oh, by the way, Sergio, you're a fucking idiot. <sighs> Please tell me you got something. Possible murder scene. What? All of our victims had minute traces of concrete. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Yeah, there's two places that still manufacture the stuff and they're both in operation, so no dice. Our latest had our concrete and small amounts of limestone. Limestone? There's a limestone quarry in town? Not anymore. There was a quarry south of town, but it closed down 15 years ago. And our concrete? Took a while. But the company that supplied the concrete for said limestone quarry? Son of a bitch. Well, good. You want to go check it out? Nah. Why don't you take Andrews and go check it out? Let you out of the funny farm again? Yeah, so to speak. So, uh, what can I do for you? Uh... Sergio. Right, Sergio. What can I do for you? Buy me a drink? Uh, another drink for me and my friend here. Who's paying you or your buddy? I'll put it on mine. Yeah, I was planning on it. There's your drink. Thank you. So? So what? What can I do for you? How about tell me why my marriage is failing despite the amount of support and slack I've given her? Maybe you gave her too much support. And, and way too much slack. What's that supposed to mean? Well, see, women sometimes need to be real then. They need you there telling them things, advising them on things. Otherwise, they think you don't care, don't give a shit about them. Yeah, but every time I do that, she says I'm smothering her. I don't trust her. Uh, you say you were having problems with your marriage. Yeah. You are married to a woman, yeah? Yes. <laughs> okay, because I kind of assumed that when, when we were talking about a woman, <laughs> the illogical part was, was inferred or, or, or implied. Or, well, you know what I mean. So you gonna drink that? Nah. I think you should take it for her. Hi. Hey there. You expecting anyone? No, oh, no, just some idiot. So what are you doing here? You following me? As luck would have it, no. After last night, I thought I needed a break and came here to unwind and found you. Surprised you found the time with your busy schedule and all. I deserve that. Look, I'm really sorry, Brad. You had something really important to tell me and you wanted my time and I couldn't give it to you. I just feel you're killing yourself with all that work. I just wanted to spend some time with you. It's been such a long time since you and I spent time together. Wow. 
I didn't know you felt that way. I honestly thought all the love and positive feelings you had for me died a long time ago. How could you think that? Claire, I've never stopped loving you. I love you since the day we met, and I'll love you till the day we die. No matter what happens to us. Come on. Where are we going? Probably the biggest mistake of our lives. I like mistakes. What's this note about saying it's a mistake? What the fuck was that for? out of the way, no one would hear you scream. Who's her Vic? Some attorney. Goes by the name of Ted Lawrence. We're still trying to track some information down. <sighs> you know him? No, but Claire knows a lot of attorneys. Maybe she'll recognize him. Whoa! What? What's gotten into you? What? You're about to send a picture of a skinned murder victim to your wife to see if she knows him? Alright. Are you crazy? Uh, what the fuck was I thinking? Come here. Can you see this? These belong to our victims. Well, at least half of them. You think the other ones belong to the bodies we haven't found yet? I hope not. What? Um, no, that's nothing. It's just that one. What? Looks a lot like that. Jenny? Is Claire there? How long ago? Thanks. She left about two hours ago. She went to a meeting with a client. Where's that coming from? You gonna get that?
crazy creepy guy. What's up? You're not crazy. You don't belong in here. I see. Well, up, up until a week or so ago, I would have believed you, but uh, turns out I killed my ex-wife, so I do belong in here. Goodbye. Who is this? You're losing your mind, aren't you? You don't know who you are anymore. But then again, I don't think you ever did, did you? But that's okay. I know who you are. Kill her. It's the only way to save yourself. Hey, check this out. Dominoes, this is Brad. May I help you? Don't listen to them. You're not crazy. Well, I'm sorry. It seems we're all out of dough to make pizzas, but we have plenty of crazy bread. Would you like some of that? You didn't kill your wife. I'm sorry. It seems you've had too much crazy bread for now. Goodbye. happen to me. I'm fine. I'll always be fine. I'm six feet tall and bulletproof. Bernie, who did this to you? You did this. You did this to yourself. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, oh, God. Brad, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Claire, but your life is in danger. What? How? What the hell is going on? The serial killer we found is later. The one you've been tracking for a year? He took photo albums from every one of his victims. Oh my god. He has one of ours? It's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna let you out of my cell. I'm gonna let you protect your custody. I'm listening. You didn't kill your wife. And how would you know that? Because I did. Jim! Uh, it's him! No, no! Hey, that's you. You can't stop him. You can't go. Why not? Because I'm okay. I ain't that. You're a shocker. We're going to get you help soon, though. I wasn't stabbed. What are you talking about? You're not listening to me. I wasn't stabbed. You were! People create figments of their imagination. People who don't really exist in reality, but yet they interact with them like any other human being. Man, my buddy Ernie, he calls me the walking contradiction. Mm. Ernie sounds like a smart guy. I have to meet him someday. Oh, Maggie Tyler, yeah, me and my buddy here are really big fans. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, this is fucking empty. Probably an empty fucking mug.